Thank you, Chairperson. And uh, I also appreciated uh, President uh, Sasakawa and uh, Sasaka Foundation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk about uh, childhood and adolescent cell cancer after the Fukushima and the PP accident. As you know, after the accident on March 11, 2011, residents in Fukushima Prefecture faced uh, the problem of health effects caused by low-dose radiation exposure. A large-scale uh, solid ultrasound examination, TUE, decided to perform for people aged 18 years or younger at the time of disaster. TUE was performed uh, first of those uh, who are living in high exposure area at the time of the accident. Our primary examination of TUE began from October 9, 2011 at Fukushima Medical University Hospital. Uh, you can see the summary uh, uh, all the results of TUE. Uh, Dr. Otsuru uh, has already uh, explained it uh, in, uh, in detail. Yeah. Uh, uh, 160, 16 case subjects of uh, PBRS first survey and 57 subjects of uh, uh, FSS second round survey. Uh, were diagnosed malignant or suspected malignancy uh, by uh, fine needle aspiration cytology. Among them, uh, 102 uh, of 30 and 30 subjects of both uh, survey uh, were uh, diagnosed uh, surgical treatment. Among them, uh, 131 was diagnosed with cyber cancer and only one case is uh, diagnosed benign cyber tumor after surgery. Uh, you can see the outcome of uh, 172 suspicious or malignant cases by FNSC. Among them, 132 cases has already performed surgical treatment. And 40 cases are still waiting for surgical treatment or uh, are recommended non-surgical observation uh, due to uh, the uh, C1, uh, CT1A, CN0, and 0. Among operated 130 cases, uh, also we recommended non surgical treatment, 11 cases uh, hoping uh, surgical treatment by themselves were included. This is uh, operation cases of Kushima TUE. Uh, total number was 30, uh, 132. Among them, 126 were performed uh, surgical treatment in our Fukushima Medical University Hospital. Among them, uh, 125 uh, were diagnosed uh, cyber cancers. So, uh, I'd like to talk about 125 cyber cancers in our Fukushima Medical University in detail. Uh, the number of male and female were uh, 44 and 81. Mean age at disaster and uh, at diagnosis were 15 and uh, 18 years old. As for tumor location, 97% uh, uh, were uh, epsilateral and only 3.3% uh, were uh, bilateral. This is a preoperative findings. Uh, mean tumor size uh, was 14 millimeter. 81% uh, uh, were uh, uh, CT1A, and 22% uh, were uh, node positive, and 2.2% uh, uh, were only a distant metastasis with lung metastasis. These uh, CT1A, CN0, M0 were uh, only uh, were, uh, 35 percent. Except of uh, 11 hoping cases uh, were suspected of extracellular invasion, node positive, uh, or close to uh, Laringia nerve or trachea, uh, or uh, coexisting uh, Graves disease or lung tumor, uh, like a GGO. You can see the Japanese guideline for papillary thyroid carcinoma. Surgical treatment is indicated for papillary microcarcinoma patients with 
clinical lymph node metastasis on palpation or imaging studies. Uh, distant metastasis was significant exercise extension. Patients without these features can be candidated for observation after extensive explanation and obtaining informed consent. Close to trachea, nearby recurrent nerve, suspect of extracellular invasion or lymph node metastasis, these cases are, are recommended uh, FNSC or uh, surgery. This is active surveillance for micropapillocytic cancer. This indication is for adults only. Uh, there's no evidence for children and IH generation because under 40 years, cases were increasing dropout uh, due to increasing tumor size during AS. This is the operation method. 91% uh, were performed hemicyroidectomy or uh, lobectomy, uh, while uh, only 9% were performed total thyroidectomy. All cases were performed lymph node dissection. 18% in lateral area, 82% in central areas. This is uh, post-operative findings. 59% uh, uh, were uh, post-operative T1, and 39% uh, were uh, post-operative T3. Uh, due to the uh, post-operative uh, EX1. And 78% uh, uh, were uh, node positive cases. Among uh, uh, preoperative uh, CT1 and M044 cases, uh, only five cases, uh, PT1A, PN0, EX0 after surgery. This is our algorithm for diagnosis and treatment of papillary cell carcinoma. For high risk uh, cases, uh, larger than five centimeter tumor, large N1 or uh, large EX2 uh, or uh, large T4 cases and uh, distant metastatic cases. These cases were uh, recommended to total thyroidectomy with lymph node dissection and uh, post-operative RI treatment. And the low risk uh, T1, N0, M0 were uh, recommended uh, lobectomy with uh, central uh, neck uh, dissection. Meet uh, risk, uh, so-called gray zone, uh, and trusted uh, entrusted to uh, policy, uh, treatment of policy uh, of each institute. Uh, you can see the prognostic factor of PTC. As you know, uh, age is a very strong independent prognostic factor. So uh, younger age is very strong uh, prognostic factor. And also, prophylactic RAI without high-risk cases are uh, not recommended in Japan. And also, RAI for children are conservative in Japan. Uh, uh, there are some problems of uh, levothyroxine supplement after thyroidectomy, for, uh, especially for children. So, uh, our institute uh, selected uh, for uh, gray zone, uh, uh, lobectomy with central uh, neck dis dissection, if it is possible, uh, with uh, consensus of Japan thyroid panels. Uh, this is a comparison of operation method between Belarus after Chernobyl accident and Fukushima after the accident. Total thyroidectomy is much in Belarus. While in Fukushima uh, is very different from uh, Belarus, almost uh, hemicyroidectomy uh, performed. That's uh, due to the uh, uh, reason uh, of the previous uh, slides. This is a histopathological type of 125 cyro cancer. 121 were uh, papillary cyrus carcinoma, and three were uh, poorly degenerative cyrus carcinoma, and one is others. 
Among papyrocyrus carcinoma, uh, 110 uh, are of uh, classical type. Uh, four uh, were uh, of follicular variant, three were of diffuse sclerosing variant, and four were of uh, cribriform molar variant, which is related to uh, familial uh, adenomatous polyposis uh, due to the germline mutation of APC gene. Uh, there's no uh, solid variant cases uh, in, uh, uh, which is very common in Chernobyl after the accident. Uh, this time is uh, uh, nothing. You can see the mutation profile inside of cancer. BRAF mutation is highly prevalent uh, in Fukushima's 52 studies. It's a very different uh, profile from Chernobyl, uh, post op Chernobyl children after the accident. You can see the age distribution childhood side cancer patients in Ukraine after Chernobyl and in Fukushima after the accident. Led by is uh, Fukushima pattern. Uh, it's very uh, similar to uh, blue bar. Blue bar uh, is a uh, uh, period of blood. Uh, blue bar is Ukraine uh, pattern. No, uh, in uh, period of latency. While uh, orange bar uh, is uh, Ukraine uh, pattern uh, in after period of latency. It's uh, very different from uh, blue and uh, red bars. This is an uh, individual estimation. Can relative effective dose. Uh, most of the cases uh, were exposed to uh, uh, this dose uh, of under one millisievert. Max is only 2.2 millisievert. Uh, and also there is no difference between uh, malignant cases and others uh, significantly. You can see the light lower uh, figure. This is a heat map of the radiation dose. Number one is highly contaminated area, and uh, number two is medium, and uh, number three is lowest contaminated area. Uh, there is no significant difference in uh, proportion of suspicious or malignant cases uh, between different three areas. And also, we try to uh, compare to four areas. Uh, there is uh, also uh, no difference uh, between uh, these cases. And did thyroid cancer occur in these patients as a result of radiation exposure after the Fukushima nuclear accident? Our tentative answer is no. Exposure level in Fukushima were extremely low. It's highly likely to that no children have exceeded the maximum exposure level of 50 millisievert. Uh, symptoms of radiation-induced cyber cancer will appear following a latency period of at least four to five years. However, only five years have passed since the Fukushima accident. The carcinogenic risk would be heightened if the subjects were young at the time of the accident. But the average age of these malignant or suspected malignant cases were, was 15 years old. And the youngest age group, zero to five years, has shown no recurrence of uh, cancer to date. There is no difference in the cyber cancer discovery rate within the five-year period. Unlike Chernobyl, most cases were diagnosed with classical PTC, and there were uh, no solid variant PTCs. Uh, genetic alteration was also different between Chernobyl and Fukushima's children. The result of uh, the second round survey study were uh, similar uh, to those of the previous study. And lastly, uh, I'd like to uh, speak about uh, problem after US screening in Fukushima uh, a little bit. You can see the malignant or uh, suspected malignancy cases of uh, BioFNSE. Every held in prefectural oversight committee meeting, POCM, for Fukushima Health Management Survey. Uh, this data was announced every held in POCM. So we had uh, cyber cancer uh, increasing in Fukushima every time. So uh, diagnosed rate is here. 
diagnostic rate is almost uh, same, uh, 30 per uh, 100,000 uh, uh, individuals. There are high prevalence of thyroid cancer in Fukushima after an NPP accident. Uh, there are two big uh, arguments. One is radiation exposure due to the, uh, the accident. Another is uh, over-diagnosis and over-treatment. Uh, our Fukushima resident with anxiety and harmful rumor. So our standpoint is watch and follow uh, to avoid over-diagnosed treatment. Uh, screening cancer uh, sometimes announced uh, preclinical cancer. Preclinical cancer means asymptomatic, latent, and incidental cancer. Inside cancer is slightly different. Uh, screening cancer is included incidental and uh, simple, uh, partial symptomatic cancer as well as asymptomatic cancer. If uh, tumor larger uh, than 10 millimeter and node positive, no uh, extracellular invasion or distant metastatic cases, these cases are uh, uh, recognized clinical cancer. And uh, so clinical cancer is symptomatic cancer and also these cases. The, T, the aim of TUE is uh, screening to detect uh, these cases and not to detect preclinical pre -clinical cancer using by a sophisticated uh, our criteria and guidelines. You can see the change in trend in the management of well defense side cancer in Korea and compares to Fukushima Health Management Survey. In 2009, in Korea, under 5 meter uh, cases, 94% uh, were performed uh, fine needle uh, FNAC. And over 5 meter cases were performed all cases FNAC. And uh, in 2014, Korea is changed. Under 5 millimeter uh, uh, cases, 53% uh, were performed FNSC. And uh, from 5 to 10 millimeter cases, 80% performed FNSC. So uh, the number of uh, Korea's uh, operated cases uh, become reduced 35%. On the other hand, Fukushima Health Man Man Management Survey uh, in 2014, uh, under 5 meter, all cases were not performed FNSC. From 5 to 10 millimeter, only 10% were performed FNSC. Over uh, 10 millimeter, even 60% were performed FNSC. So, in Fukushima's survey, diagnostic criteria is extremely conservative to avoid overdiagnosis. Therefore, uh, comparison can be, cannot be made with case in Korea. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, Professor. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is our criteria to avoid overdiagnosis. Uh, we described uh, uh, clinical oncology and uh, endocrine in general. So, uh, under 5 millimeter, uh, all cases were uh, uh, stopped uh, to uh, examination. So, we recommended observational study with no FNSC. And from 5 to 10 millimeter, uh, higher hurdle set up uh, to avoid overdiagnosis. So, uh, from 10 to uh, 20 millimeter, lower hurdle set up. And over 20 millimeter uh, included chest are recommended. All cases uh, recommended to FNSC. Conclusion. Uh, this increase of cyber cancer in Fukushima after the accident seemed to be due to a mass screening effect by the large scale and highly sophisticated ultrasound examination, but not as epidemic due to direct linkage of radiation-induced. 
Uh, causes of observed cyanuric cancer might not be associated with radiation exposure from the Fukushima nuclear accident. However, the TUE should be continued long term to determine whether the risk of childhood adolescent cyanuric cancer due to the radiation exposure increases or not. The present diagnostic criteria for ultrasound and FNAC, as well as uh, the guidelines for surgical treatment, must be obeyed uh, in order to avoid overdiagnosis and overtreatment. Thank you uh, for your attention. <laughs>